Hey guys, look at what you can make using Art Coat. This is a fluid resin technique, tilting and pouring. We're gonna show you in this video exactly how to create some of these really neat effects. Resin artists and enthusiasts love the ability to move and meld all their colors in a way like nothing else. We went halfway across the country just to see how Erica and Jeff use Stone Coat Countertop's Art Coat, their tips and tricks, tools of the trade. Stay tuned, you're gonna love this. Check out what they make. Hey guys, Mike here with StoneCoatCountertops.com. I'm with Erica and Jeff. How are you guys? We're good. Super. Mitch and I came all the way from Oregon to Dallas, Texas. What are we gonna do here in Dallas, Texas, guys? We're gonna do some art. We're gonna, we're gonna get gonna messy. We're gonna chop it up, we're gonna get messy, and we're gonna just art it all over the place. <laughs> Chopping it up with ATD. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. You got this. We are on top of the world right here. Where are we, guys? Dallas. We're at our loft in downtown Dallas, right this, here at the south side of Lamar. South side, this is so cool. Your loft is amazing. Stay tuned. You will not want to miss what we're about to do right now. down into that yeah like that's it's sick i love it jeff and erica artists till death thanks guys for having us no problem i'm so love glad that. you guys are here this is awesome they they gave us a tour of their apartment here i don't i don't think this is an apartment what is this this is like a loft it's an industrial warehouse loft what this building was what what would you it say this the old sears and roebuck catalog distribution building i mean mitch and i are walking through your building and one thing that you don't see, you know, obviously from the live streams is what's behind the front door and what you mm -hmm. see when, and this is a utopia for artists. It's like you're going through a ballroom at some points and you're going, and then there's a art all over the place. You could just tell this is a place to create, man. It is. Very Definitely inspiring. is a good environment for artists to feed off of each other. Um, so we found, we found you or you found out, how did we meet? How did, how did this happen? I'm a stalker, and when we first were asked to do a countertop, I was like, well, I don't know how to do that, so let's look it up. And I watched a few different people, but I was really drawn to how you talk about countertops and explain it so well. And we were like, this is a guy, we're gonna, we watched like all the countertop videos. We watched all your videos a million times probably, and then we got a callback. I tuned into your channel, like we stalk people too, and I'm going, well, I want to see what they're doing. And I love how you guys are with each other in real life. It's the same. You guys are totally real on camera, and I love that. That's, that's way cool. Um, but I saw what you're doing. Uh, we sent you some stuff. What you did with our art coat was really cool. So we came out here to uh, see it and, and, and learn from you guys and play together. Well, it's an amazing resin, and 100% is the resin that we go to now, so I, I'm so excited that you're here and we can show you in person what we can do with it, because it's such a great product. What What are people going to learn from you guys tuning in to Artists Till Death? They're going to understand that resin has a mind of its own. Sweet. That is that's, so true. How to come back from... You guys have no safety net. You have no safety net, right? You're going to learn what we do with it, and hopefully it will inspire you <laughs> to make it on your own and not be intimidated by any of the materials it takes to make great art with great product. I learned from you guys, and I already learned a bunch watching your channel and coming here in real life and seeing your art. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Stay tuned. We're going to kick some butt live stream style and we'll link that live stream in the comments below so you can see the archive of it but we're going to be behind the scenes mitch come over here y'all big guy mitch is really big in person <laughs> <laughs> what's up yes happy to be here yes thank you brother yeah all right anything to say before we start i would say bye but we're about to get in the we the got this we got this we got this we got this. Yes. <laughs> okay so today we're going to go head to head with Thornton, SCC against ATD. Yeah. What are your thoughts, brother? Um, I'm scared a little bit, but you know, I'm hanging with the best. Friend, I have so. seen your stuff, and you have no reason to be egg scared. Egg. You have no. You are the man. Battle. Got to bring my egg. It's on. Let's do this right now. Don't be scared. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm 
On the first day of our visit, Stone Coat Countertops, Mike Quist, and Thornton from Artist Till Death, we both used the same colors. We both used the same additives, we had the same size board, and we made our own individual piece of artwork. It's fun to work side by side with a real cool artist like Thornton because you get to see the different techniques that he's come up with to make the materials work for him. I really like his techniques and his finished product was amazing. In the description below, we'll have the full live stream broadcast. The heat gun that you guys are using is really cool how you get it to, I call it feather. It's like you're really finessing, it's, it's painting with air, right? Right, basically you're heating it up, thinning it out, and pushing it the way you want it to go. How'd yeah. you learn how to do that, practice, what, what brought that on? You kind of developed your technique? We ordered a heat gun and it came with this platypus attachment and we just, made it work with what we were trying to do. How would a platypus attachment look on our face? It would be look like the, look the gut face. <laughs> <laughs> I did a striated technique where I layered some colors next to each other and I moved and melded them together with my finger and I tilted my board and heated up the epoxy and let it move naturally. Doing a project like this is always a reminder that you can use the same tools, techniques, and colors, and you can get a totally different look and effect. I really love both of these projects. This was an absolute blast. Here, by making little small circles with the drip of epoxy, it's a ring pour that comes out phenomenal. You're gonna watch Thornton move this product, he's gonna heat it up and then tilt this board and watch this effect. I really love how this one came out. This was just with our scrap material and look at the finished piece of art. Goodness, good job Thornton. Jeff, I had a blast with you, man. Good job. Thanks, buddy. Erica. Appreciate it. Great job. Thanks. Little buddy, good job. Good job holding it. I learned a ton watching you develop this piece. This was awesome with the scrap. I had a great time. You got skills, Thank Thornton. You. I appreciate it. You got some skills, man. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Well, now you know all of our tricks and art things. We're gonna have an uphill battle going head to head with. <laughs> We're going head to head right now with Erica. Y'all just wait. Hey guys, if you haven't seen Erica and Jeff's Artist Till Death channel, tune in. You don't know what you're missing. Every night, how do you guys do a video every night? Lots of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Lots of Mountain Dew. Get <laughs> yes. hyped up on Mountain Dew and do some artwork. They will show you techniques that you have not seen. You haven't seen them done the way they do it, and it is flat out amazing. Mitch, do you agree? I agree. It's amazing. Seconded. Thanks, Mitch. On the second evening of our trip, it was time for Eric and I to go head to head. We had a great time. We used the same colors and the same boards, and we came up with different projects. Both of them turned out phenomenal. You can find the entirety of this project found on Artist Till Death YouTube channel. Check it out. Also, what I'm doing here is an amazing puddle pour times three. I'm simply adding the colors on top of themselves, and then I'll use gravity as my best friend. It really makes it flow nice. Here Erica's layering her colors in that curve design and she'll use the heat gun to blow that around and create a beautiful effect. Wait till you see what we do with the leftovers. We're gonna do a flip, a flip cup. Flip, flip and drag. Flip and drag. We're gonna yeah. do it with resin. You're gonna crush this. Uh, it's either I'm gonna crush it or it's gonna crush me. Last time I got crushed. I'm ready to dominate. Flip and drag coming up. Thornton, thoughts? Should we do this? I think it's going to be amazing. All right. He's going to laugh. You got this. Shouldn't be scared. All of our excess epoxy is in this cup. We're flipping it on top of this prepped canvas. We poked a hole in the top of the cup and we simply drug that around the canvas. Use some heat to make it fluid and just simply start tilting. The effects are amazing and it will blow your mind at the cells and the way that the different colors are going to react with one another. Let us know in the comments below which of these was your favorite project. We're dying to find out. Hey guys, ATD family, we had a great time out here. Thanks for all the questions. We hope we answered them. If we didn't, you can look at the comments below, ask them there, we'll answer. We will do more with you guys. We can't wait to work with you again. It's gonna be great. The future looks bright. Next time we'll come out there. All right, you're coming out to Oregon? We're going to. You guys scared of bears rabbits. and mountain lions? Not at all. Yep. I'm from Kansas. <laughs> Mitch, what do you think of Dallas, man? It's awesome, it's hot. 
Uh, I miss Oregon's cool weather, cool evenings, but it is awesome out here. Look at it. Yeah. Cool. Like what a view, man. Way cool. We have learned a lot from ATD. I can't even tell you how much you're, right. you've enhanced our channel and our art. Just getting to see how other artists do what you do with the materials that we know how to work with just changes the game. I love that you guys are teaching folks how to do what you do. It's no holding back. You show what you know and share the love. I love it. That's what it's about. Good job. Great about. team. On Thank camera. you. Thank you. So do you guys. Until next time. From Stone Coat Countertops. You, you got, got this. this. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Bye. I said bye. I said bye. But I said bye. <laughs> yes. He says bye. They said bye. <laughs>